without an independent, free legal advice, a lot more people would lose their homes, a lot more people will go unsupported that really need that kind of support and advice ongoing. Often we will go into court um, with a client at the 11th hour and say they are now working with shelter and a judge will often grant adjournments um, on the basis that they are now working with shelter. We deal with tenants in rent arrears from private landlords or from social landlords, tenants with disrepair problems, clients fleeing domestic violence, people um, who are homeowners and are facing financial difficulties, be that debt, um, mortgage possession, clients that are facing problems with their benefits. We are definitely finding at um, Shelter's court desks that um, mortgage possession cases are on the up. Even the local authority who are landlords are issuing more possession proceedings against their tenants than before. Typical um, situations of people um, facing possession proceedings um, that we come across are people that have lost their employment. A lot of people also have been relying on their overtime and when that overtime has been cut, everything goes a bit wrong. And also relationship breakdowns, the person left in the family home often can't cope with the amount of monthly outgoings that they have to pay. The most vulnerable clients with the most support needs, either suffering um, from domestic violence or harassment, they come to court um, very upset, um, very distressed, with no um, no idea of what's going on and also no idea of what their finances are like. We either talk on their behalf or we can just sit there and just be there for them when they're in court. I think definitely Shelter provides um, as much emotional support as it does legal advice, whether that be at a court desk or when a client comes into one of our advice surgeries. Um, they have their own individual caseworker that works on their, their whole case. If they are alone, if they're a home, single homeless person or they're a single um, parent. It feels like there is someone there that wants to help them. Going to court um, for possession proceedings doesn't have to mean you're going to lose your home. A case recently that we've had at um, a court desk in Margate was an application by our client to suspend an eviction. Our client had um, quite a few health problems due to a road traffic accident um, a few years ago. Subsequently had, had lost employment and in all that time they've been gathering up arrears with their mortgage company. We sorted out his finances, incomes and outgoings before we went into court, what they can afford to offer a reasonable amount and um, explained to the judge that they're now working with shelter and the judge um, suspended the eviction on the terms that they made um, the current monthly instalments plus a certain amount of the arrears and, and as long as they carry on making those payments they won't lose their home. I think the most challenging thing about my job is when you um, see clients who you really, really feel for their situation, when they really, really have nothing to offer the judge in terms of payment, and there really is little that um, the judge can do legally. I've had um, a case recently that didn't work out the way that we hoped. It was a lady who had faced a relationship breakdown last year. Her husband had left the marital home and she had a dependent child. Back on one way she couldn't manage the mortgage and gradually fell into arrears. The judge was completely sympathetic to our client, um, to us, but ultimately legally had no choice but to grant the possession. And it is really challenging afterwards telling someone that you know a possession order has been granted, they will lose their home, but we will work with them to ensure that they'll be housed, they, they're given their housing options for the future. I think the effect on um, a family when they lose their home is, is absolutely immense. If families have to move, therefore, um, if they've got children, their schools will have to change and um, upset you know, family life from every aspect. Shelter relies heavily on um, charitable donations and without those donations, um, we wouldn't be able to offer advice as we do. The funding is vital to um, Shelter's advice service and without it we wouldn't be here. My vision for Shelter would be that everybody knew um, about us, everybody could come and talk to us um, at any given time, um, anywhere in the country. 